Like railbirds clocking a morning workout, they came early to study a real thoroughbred go through his paces. Could O.J. Simpson outrun the shadow of Jim Brown's rushing record? Could the juice keep flowing against the world champion Dolphins? On the game's third play, Miami quarterback Bob Greasy lost the ball and the Bills recovered. But Buffalo could not budge the Dolphins and they settled for a field goal and a 3-0 lead. Confident with the lead and buoyed by the awesome power locked in the white shoes, Buffalo attacked the no-name defense. But the wings were torn off their elusive butterfly as the no-name swarmed over the juice. At the end of the half, a frustrated O.J. Simpson had gained only 12 yards and six carries. By games in, he had but 55. And bruised and beaten with an ankle dressed in swaddling clothes, the juice had stopped flowing for the Buffalo Bills. Miami asserted their dominance on the passes of Bob Greasy to tight end Jim Manich, number 88. This combination gave the Dolphins the lead for the first time at 10 to three when Greasy found Manage floating free in the end zone. Behind airtight protection, the combination clicked again. As simple as one, two, three. Blocking plus Manage plus Greasy equal a 17 to three Miami lead. By halftime, the game was a rout as Mercury Morris cut inside of number 66 Larry Little and exploded for a touchdown. Leading 24 to three, Bob Greasy was gluttonous for more points, but his bomb to Mercury Morris nestled nicely into the hands of cornerback Dwight Harrison of the Bills. When Harrison's legs turned to molasses, he attempted the old cornerback to cornerback handoff to Tony Green, number 43. But that old playground trick didn't work and neither did anything else for the Bills when they turned to reserve quarterback Dennis Shaw, number 16. Buffalo was surrounded and stumped by a nightmare wearing white shirts. For five weeks, the Bills had not faced a team of championship medal. On the sixth, they had played with the big boys and lost 27 to six.